Hey everyone, it's Tyler Stroke from Universal Rackets and today we're going to be talking about keeping your feet in the proper position at the kitchen. Too many players, what they're doing, they're taking way too many steps. They're falling back, they're moving to the side. They're taking way too many steps. And what, in pickleball, it's such a short court. When you're at the kitchen, you have no time. So you wanna be efficient with your body as possible. If you stay tuned for this whole video, I'm going to teach you the exact footwork that you need to take and how many steps you can take or you can't exceed when you're at the kitchen and tips to keep your feet from not moving more than they normally do in this video so make sure you stay tuned for the whole thing and move less be more efficient and win more pickleball points all right so this is where players go wrong when they're at the kitchen they are either moving side to side they're turning and they're hitting when you're at the kitchen the most amount of steps that you should take is one once again when you're at the kitchen the most amount of steps that you should take is one now Everybody's different. Not everyone's a professional pickball player. This video is for beginner, intermediate, club level players. So hey, this video, if you do take more than one step, that's okay. But my goal in this video is to give you the tools to limit the amount of steps that you take. So the first instance that players go wrong is they have an out wide ball. A lot of players think that they have to turn, they have to move to the ball, and then they have to hit. Once again, let me do that one more time. Here we are. I'm going to turn, I'm going to move to the ball, and then I'm going to hit. Instead of doing that, I took like four or five steps. What I'm going to do is if I ever have an out wide ball, all I'm going to do is lean and do a side step on my outside leg and hit. Once again, I'm going to lower the camera a little bit so you guys can see it here. Here we are. So if I ever have an out wide ball, again, instead of turning and taking steps, all I'm going to do is take an out wide side step and then I'm going to hit. Once again, if I have an out wide ball, I'm going to take one step to the side. If I have a ball on the left hand side, if I have an out wide backhand, what am I going to do? Instead of turning and taking tons of steps, I'm gonna be out in front and I'm going to take one side step to this side. So notice if I ever have a ball that's a little bit further away from me, all I'm doing is just taking one step to the side. Again, I'm either going here or I'm going here. I'm going here or I'm going here. I am not turning and moving my body. Now, if the ball is right to you or around you, what are you going to do? Instead of moving your body, all you're going to do is you're going to adjust your paddle contact point. If I have a ball all the way out to the right around here, I'm going to go here. If I have a ball in the middle, I'm going to go here. 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 Notice, I am going to try to get it with my paddle before I move my feet. Once again, I'm going to try to hit it with my paddle before I move my feet. A lot of times a player might have a ball in the middle and they're gonna move around and they're gonna try to hit it here. No, keep your body still and let your paddle do the work. You will be much more efficient. So we went over if the ball's near you. We went over if the ball's side to side. Now what we're gonna go over is if the ball is angled and out wide. If the ball is angled and out wide, you still only should take one step. And if you have to take any more steps than one step, the ball's gonna be out, right? So this is the furthest that you could go out for a ball. Watch this. So a lot of players think, oh, it's so angled, it's so out wide, I gotta turn and run to it and hit. No, all you're going to do is instead of stepping with your outside foot, you're going to step with your inside foot. I'm going to watch, if it's an out wide ball, I'm going to bring my inside foot across the kitchen and I am going to take it here. The fastest way to get between two points is to go diagonally. By going diagonally for your out wide kitchen shots, you're going to intersect the path of the ball and get it way in a better place than letting it go super long and having to move back here and be out of position. So again, if I ever have a super out wide ball, instead of going on a side step or running, all I'm going to do is across my body. I want you to think that like I'm throwing like a bowling ball. I used to bowl, you wanna step with the front foot and then go. Same thing for your out wide dinks. If I have an out wide backhand dink, you're either gonna let your partner get it or you're going to step across your body again into the kitchen and then you're going to hit it. Now, of course, you have to do this when the ball bounces because if you do this in the air, you're going to lose the point because you violate the kitchen rule. But again, near you, adjust the paddle before you adjust your body. Out wide, side to side, you're going to go on your outside foot. And if it's super out wide and angled, you're going to go across your 
body. Now, a lot of players, they struggle with taking not as many steps, not just because they know the three steps to take. Again, I'm either adjusting my paddle zero steps technically, I'm either taking one step side step, or I'm stepping across my body, but also it's because they are not balanced while they hit. I want you to think, if I'm standing here right now and you try to push me, you come up, not super hard push, but you go like this, I'm going to fall over every single time. But if I stay in my legs, I get my weight low, I drop my center of gravity. Now, if you push me, I am not going anywhere. A lot of players, they take unnecessary steps and maybe they're not taking one, but they're taking 10 when they should be taking nine or eight or seven or six. It's because they're standing straight up and they're going to hit. If I have a high center of gravity, I'm not in my legs, I'm going to be moving a ton. Now, if I can drop my center of gravity and I can get into my legs, that's going to limit the amount of movement. I wanna think that I have a foundation in my legs. I have a foundation into the ground and that'll limit, it, limit you from excess movement. The next thing, okay, and this is for beginner and intermediate players, or maybe even if you're more advanced, but you struggle with tons of movement at the kitchen, okay? What you're going to do is instead of your weight on your toes, you're going to put your weight in your heels. So once again, instead of your weight on your toes, which yes, if you're an advanced player, you want your weight on your toes so you can really push off and be more aggressive and in front, you're going to put your weight in your heels. By limiting all the weight going into your heels and getting a little bit lower, it's gonna drop your center of gravity. That's going to stop you from moving so much. So again, if you can think the one step roll, either side, stay there, let the paddle do the work, or across the body, you could drop your center of gravity, you could get into your heels if you're really struggling, you are going to take less steps in pickleball, you're gonna be way more efficient, and you're going to win more points because you're going to be in the proper position, and more importantly, you're going to be able to have time. Now again, in this video, if you watch this video, go out tomorrow, go play, and try to take two or three less steps by using these tips than you normally do, and you will see a big difference in your game. Now, if you guys love my videos, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to share this with someone if it benefits you. If you guys want any awesome Selkirk gear, it's a lot. It's a little bit cold here in Florida. It's 60 degrees. I feel like I need my hat, my mittens. If you want all this awesome winter gear, make sure to click the link in my description for a gift card with your purchase. Make sure to follow me on Instagram for simple, quick tips. And if you want any pickleball programming, corporate events, fundraising events, charity events, whatever you want, if you want clinics in your area led by me, designed by me, make sure you click that link in the description to fill out our Google form and a Universal Rackets representative will get to you. Have a good one, happy hitting, and again, make sure you limit the amount of steps you take on the kitchen next time you're on court.